In today's video, we're going to check out the top five best ultrabooks in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. To see the price and find out more information about these ultrabooks, you can check out the description below. Also, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Okay, so let's get started with the video. At number five, it's the Huawei MateBook 13. The Huawei MateBook 13 is a work of art, dominating in every category for its size and solidifies its spot as one of the best ultrabooks in the market. While following the footsteps of its predecessor, it didn't disappoint and further gives Huawei an edge over the competition. The MateBook 13 follows suit with a competition design-wise with a full metal body that's available in both dark grey and silver colours. It comes at 2.87 pounds in weight and 0.59 inches in thickness. It's a narrower laptop than the competition, eliminating the side bezels and removing the speakers from on top. The speakers are placed on the underside of the Ultra Portable, which results in a decrease in audio output quality, but nonetheless, audio quality is still decent. The shape and design make the laptop feel like you're carrying a tablet in your bag. The 13-inch screen features 2K resolution and provides good colour accuracy and sharpness with a 3 to 2 aspect ratio. It also has pretty good viewing angles, which should get you through in most of the scenarios. The keyboard is extremely comfortable, with an amazing key feel and spring, and also has good backlighting. The power button functions also as a fingerprint scanner. The trackpad is the best, very large, precise and very responsive for both single-finger and multi-finger gestures. Performance is where the MateBook really excels. It comes packed with a quad-core Intel Core i5 with 256GB of SSD storage and 8GB of RAM storage and integrated graphics. With that high-spec package, there will be no signs of slowing down from this laptop even while streaming 4K videos and surfing simultaneously in a dozen tabs. No stuttering with this one. In benchmark tests, it's a light year ahead of its competition, scoring 17136 in the Geekbench 4 general performance test. The laptop has a fan, but you wouldn't know it exists. You'll only hear it in extreme circumstances in really low audible levels. Battery life is pretty decent, clocking 8 hours in 1080p video playback tests. The MateBook 13 offers the best overall laptop experience with the best performance on the market. It's versatile and more eye-catching than its competition, making it a great choice for students. At number 4, it's the Acer Swift 7. The race for thinner and lighter devices gets more competitive with every model produced. The ultra-portable laptops have all really been thin and light, while many manufacturers have tried to create lighter models, Acer sits on the throne with the thinnest of them all, the Swift 7. With a package of high performance and exceptional battery life, it's certainly an option worth considering. Acer has currently produced the thinnest laptop in the market. It's maybe not a very big difference from its competition, but every millimetre counts in this race. It's just 8.9 millimetres thick and 2.6 pounds heavy. Built with black CNC aluminium, it's a work of art and very substantial. You'll take your time just admiring this beauty. With its fanless design, this ultra-portable looks like a metal tablet. Its hinges allow the display to lie flat at a 180-degree angle. The interior is a work of art too, with a black aluminium touch. The display is a 14-inch IPS panel topped with a Corning Gorilla Glass. With its very trim bezels, the screen looks awesome. The Swift 7 has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It's fairly bright with popping colours and the image was pretty sharp, allowing you to see even the smallest details. It can produce more colours than its competition and also more than the average premium laptop. The display is also touchscreen and it's fairly responsive and quick. While taking into consideration that the Ultra Portable is very thin, one would not expect a good and comfortable typing experience. But, quite to the contrary, the keyboard is very bouncy and pleasant. However, it's not the best typing experience, but it has exceeded the expectations. The Swift 7 uses a 7th generation 1.3GHz Intel Core i7-7Y75 for processing power. While pretty good for everyday use, it's a little out of date. In the benchmark test, it's below the premium laptop average. Because of its dimensions, one would expect low battery life, but the Acer Swift 7 has lasted a whopping 9 hours in various battery tests. Acer offers you the thinnest laptop with good battery life and a wonderful touchscreen display with its beautiful design. At number 3, it's the Dell XPS 13 9370. 
For many years, Dell's XPS 13 9370 has been considered one of the best ultra portables in the market. The loyal fan base is growing every day. With a new update to the model in 2018, it drops another fan favorite, making the device smaller and lighter with a better display and adding a few additional features and some minor tweaks to the performance. It all seems to be going the right way. With its new build, which is lighter and slimmer, the white and gold color schemes update the design of the predecessor, which remained unchanged for many years. It's recommended to get the white color model, which is gorgeous. The lid and bottom of the Ultra Portable are made from aluminium with gold color. The deck and the sides are styled with woven crystal silica fiber. The deck has a nice texture to it, adding some fresh air to it, while also feeling comfortable. It weighs only 2.65 pounds and it's 0.46 inches thick. The Dell XPS 13 9370 has a 13.3 inch infinity edge display that has virtually non-existent bezels. It adds to the whole experience. It comes with 3840 by 2160 4K Ultra HD resolution touchscreen display, offering an incredible color experience which is very vibrant. The sharpness and amount of details are extraordinary, and overall, the image was extremely sharp. The screen provides very astounding brightness levels as well, with 415 nits. The screen reproduces a full 130% of the sRGB color gamut. Performance-wise, the Dell XPS 13 9370 comes with an Intel Core i7-8550U processor, 16GB of RAM and 1TB of SSD. The laptop can handle pretty much anything from light gaming to web surfing to productivity without breaking a sweat. The new thermal setup with dual fans, dual heat pipes and special thermal insulation prevents the slowing down of the CPU when performing long and demanding tasks that normally overheat the CPU. It excelled in every synthetic benchmark test, showing the overall solidity of this device. The integrated GPU is also good enough for most tasks. The device has overall pretty good battery life, lasting 8 hours and 53 minutes with continuous web surfing. Providing the best package of high performance, portability and beautiful design, the Dell XPS 13 9370 pretty much sells itself. At number 2, it's the HP Spectre X360. HP Spectre throughout the years has provided the best looking ultra portables with high specs and long battery life and with its premium price point it certainly appeals not to the average customer. The new and improved HP Spectre X360 with its new design and minor performance improvements looks to take the ultra portable market by storm. HP has given the gem cut nickname to the Spectre X360 and they're absolutely right. Everything on this laptop is shaped to reflect light from every possible angle Everything has an angular pattern, making it look more like a gem than an electronic device. This is an exotic design which adds to its premium claim. Its competition in the ultra portable market all look kind of the same, simple and minimalistic. This has a thickness of 0.57 inches and a weight of 2.92 pounds. HP has used the same Intel low power 1 watt full HD display used in the HP Spectre Folio. It's an amazing display, but at the same time provides improved battery life. The display provides an excellent 1040 to 1 contrast, a decent brightness of 333 nits, and has a 73% color gamut of the Adobe RGB gamut. All this means that this display is pretty good for leisure and productivity, providing a sharp picture and good colors. However, it's not enough for designers and other professionals that need better colors. The Spectre X360 comes packed with the latest with Intel's Whiskey Lake 8th generation Core i7-8565U processor. It's rather good for most tasks, but isn't a drain on the battery. The Ultra Portable also has exceptional thermal management, which HP has struggled to control in the past. In the synthetic benchmark tests, it's achieved pretty good results close to its competitors. Battery life has been reported to be 22 and a half hours by HP, and that could be true with continuous video streaming, but in actual use it'll average probably around 12 hours. Still impressive. HP has also included a pen in the package, which can be used for drawing on the screen. Performing very well in all categories, it's a solid ultra portable with very beautiful lines, a near perfect ultra portable. And at number one, it's the Huawei MateBook X Pro. 
Huawei as a company has always put out pretty high-performing machines with affordable prices, while putting all the high-end specs that other manufacturers are offering with a smooth design, NVIDIA graphics and a 3-2 touchscreen, the Huawei MateBook X Pro does it with a lower price tag. The MateBook X Pro is a direct competitor to the premium Ultra Portables. The whole case has a high-quality feel all around. The top has a smooth matte aluminium with chrome-cut edges and an improved screen-to-body ratio of 91%. The whole body feels solid and rigid. Flexing is minimal overall, making the device more durable. The MateBook X Pro is also thicker and heavier, albeit by a margin, than its predecessor. It has a thickness of 0.575 inches and a weight of 2.93 pounds, making it certainly not the smallest around, but it's still portable enough. With a productive-minded 13.9 inches and an aspect ratio of 3 to 2, the screen is near perfect. It has a brightness of 450 nits and a contrast ratio of 1500 to 1, making it a pretty good outdoor device. The image is rather sharp and the colors pop, giving you great viewing experiences. The keyboard is fantastic. With snappy and responsive keys and a nicely spaced layout, it provides a pretty decent typing experience. The touchscreen also provides a good experience and is responsive to the commands. The screen ratio of 3 to 2 provides more space to scroll. The Intel Core i5-8250U processor with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD make this a good productivity device. Overheating issues are also solved in the series. The device has suffered from excessive throttling before. The benchmark test also reveals that the MateBook X Pro is significantly faster and better performing than the original MateBook X. It also has improved on the battery life. It's been tested to provide 10 hours of browsing the web and is also repeated that time in everyday use. There are strong advocates all over the internet that no one can compete with the value that this device offers, and while comparing the prices and performances of its competitors, it's easy to see why. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.